Thank you, Mr. Chairman, sir, for allowing me to take part in the budget discussion presented by the Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Konrad K. Sangma. At the very outset, I would like to put on record my deepest appreci appreciation to the government under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Konrad K. Sangma, for presenting the budget 2024-25 that outlines the vision of our beloved state. Sir, in the budget speech that has been given us the hope that we as a state are in the right track and march towards the greater heights. The vision of 10 billion US dollar economy by 2028 and the programs chalk out to achieve the target is realistic. We can understand the commitment of the government. Mission 10, 10 opportunities and 10 guarantees is a roadmap for the state and its people. The thrust of the government to boost investment in infrastructure with the equivalent development across the state in different sectors with particular focus on connectivity, education, and health is very encouraging. As the chief whip of the government, I would like to inform the House that the vision of the government is pro-people and the intervention that are being taken up are for accelerating the growth of the state. This budget has outlined the inventions in different sectors and has already spelled out the agenda of the government. As our Honorable Chief Minister Sir Conrad K. Sangma has demonstrated that the aspiration of our people is well presented. The budget has touched not only on attracting investment and infrastructure development, but has given due importance to our farmers, women, and youth who are the driving force of our economy. The way the speech was delivered by our Honorable Chief Minister has instilled in us the faith and confident that we, as a state, can envision brighter days today and better tomorrow. Mr. Chairman, sir, as we have read across the budget speech, the presentation, of the Honorable Chief Minister. I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister, the government, for the various initiatives taken under his leadership, the Honorable Chief Minister, Sir Konrad K. Sangma, and other departments, all the ministers concerned of each department. So, first of all, I would like to thank the government with regards to various developmental projects, be like roads, the connectivities that the government have taken for the last six years. So, my constituency being the one of the biggest 
asked to calculate in the in area wise and we have seen many developments through road connectivities which have helped the people a lot being a border constituency we have received the government under the PLB department, the minister in charge, he has considered many connectivities to the whole state and especially to my constituency. The MMR road, Mairang to Rani Godown, which has completed, and Umrit to Umling to um Umdu through World Bank, which has only been completed, the NEC road, nine mile to Umsen, and then many other projects through CRF, RIDF, and state schemes. And about all these, sir, I would like to mention, being a border constituency, geographically, which is very large. And I want to request the government that border routes connectivity be reached out to the people of my constituency. I know that under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister, and the PLB minister is very much concerned for the overall development of the state and to bring closer relationship between the people who are residing in the borders. So I hope that many more border roads will be considered, especially to my constituency. When we touch to the health department, I would like to appreciate the government, the Honorable Chief Minister and the Minister concerned for the various initiatives that the government have taken. And the infrastructures that the government have taken not only for one particular constituency, but for the whole state. Thank you so much for different sub-centers, PHCs, CHCs, upgradation. And for the last two years, we have received new upgradation of PC CHCs, and I want to mention one particular CHC which have been uh, upgraded to CHC, the Bonihat CHC. So I want to put to the notice of the government that the work of the CHC of Bonihat to be to Start. Honorable member, please try to. Why not? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, I'll try to manage as short as possible. <laughs> but I just want to put this to the knowledge of the government and the minister in charge that because uh, uh, once we got, once the government has uh, upgraded any. Uh, PHC, so infrastructure has to be there and facilities as well has to be there so that it will ease up the burdens of the people who have to go for treatment in any of the PHC and CHC. Education, with the education department, I would will, will like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister and Minister in charge for the model degree college, which is still now 
non-functional uh, non uh, non-functional and i hope that this will be functional within this year and i want to request also that some the connectivities and electricity or and then the water supply be to be completed before we start the session the new this uh, coming academic session with tourism i would like to uh, thank the government Honorable who have Kambai. taken the initiative the honorable chief minister and the minister in charge have and taken the initiatives and uh, to put to the knowledge of the government sir to you mr deputy speaker sir that meghalaya has many has been blessed with many tourist uh, spot with uh, the nature that has given that we have been blessed the whole state and, and sir, sir please, please, please i want I'll, I'll wind up sir yeah. and i want to request to you mr speaker sir deputy speaker sir that in riboy district also there are many places which is as good or the nature friendly tourist spot area that i want to put that i want to request the department concern to look into so that many other tourist spots can be developed in riboy district and as well as in our constituency so i would like to come across with the border areas i would like to thank the honorable chief minister for the concern and the initiatives that in resolving the border issues and i would like to thank the regional committees different re regional committees have been constituted and i'm also one of the member and we have completed the first phase so now many uh, the second phase is coming out for talks and sir for the security of the people residing in the borders i would like to request the honorable chief minister that people in the borders who are residing in the borders be looking into and i know that keen interest has been taken up by the government especially the honorable chief minister and the region, different regional committees chairmen and sir as talk is going on i've received a call that in nongwa mautumur still from the assam government they are trying to construct the roads which is within meghalaya and sir the inspection which they have done yesterday and today also they i got information that they will be going for what inspection they will be going there and to collect the data of the people to collect member, the data of the people of megalia so i just want to request sir, you to you mr so much the speaker sir time to you. just one minute i'll i'll wind up just want to request you to you mr deputy speaker sir that people up till now they still in fear because when from the assam government they are doing the construction and then the officers of any department they go and visit those areas which are claim also are dead so i would like to request to you mr deputy speaker sir that the speeding up in 
resolving of the border issues will be will be that the people of who are residing in the borders will feel safe and secure so mr deputy speaker sir as we have uh, not given me more time to continue so i would uh, actually there are more to take many points are there so i just i would like to uh, thank once again to the honorable chief minister and the government for the budget that has been presented by the honorable chief minister and i hope that the government will look into many other issues that has come up not only in my constituency and many more developments to be uh, to reach out to the people of my constituency with only these uh, few words sir. thank you so much <clears throat> i resume as it may I request the honorable member renikton tongkar to take the floor please but kindly stick to the time due to the uh, so in view of the in view of many more members will participate so much 19 members are yet to participate kindly stick to the thank time allotted to you yeah. <laughs> thank you so much sir for giving me this opportunity and i wish i get the same opportunity as others members are getting about the time that has given <laughs> sir uh, without further delay I want to thank Honorable Chief Minister who has presented this positive and progressive budget estimate in this Accords House, which is really a people's friendly uh, budget estimate. Sir, I will touch only a few departments uh, which I consider important to all and especially in our area in Southwest Kazakh Hill and particularly in my constituency. So I want to start with the tourism department, which uh, we are glad and we are thankful to God that we are in the state where it is so good and we are really blessed by the beauty of the nature in the state of Mekalaya and especially Southwest Kazakh Hills. Uh, it's one of the area which everybody who comes there, they appreciate and say that we are blessed by the beauty of the nature. Sir, uh, I want to bring to the notice of this Accords House and to the department that there are many, many uninvented, undiscovered spot of tourist spot in the district of Southwest Kaza Hills and especially in Maukurat area as a whole. I have the opportunity to go to one falls, which is very high falls. The name they name as Otrengai Falls, which is in between village of Hojaut and a mountain. But there is no footpath to go there. Somehow I managed to go and to reach the spot. And how beautiful is the falls? And large numbers of footfalls. They have come there. Even there is no footpath to go. Sir, I just want to bring to the notice of this Akos house. There are so many such falls and such tourist, tourist spots in our district and at Maukarwat area for which we don't have a footpath to go there. If we can have a footpath to all those spots, I can assure you, sir, that a large number of footfalls, of tourist footfalls, will happen in Southwest Kassel district if they can go to all the tourist spot that we have been blessed by the nature. I agree with the vision of our Honorable Chief Minister that we can change entire Southwest Kaza Hills and he has uh, expressed also in the last term that Southwest Kaza Hill will be one of the districts to be focused by the government in terms of promoting tourism. So I can tell you that if the government really intervene, we can make Southwest Kaza Hill next to Cherapunji. We can really make, we can really make Southwest Kaza Hills 
as a second Terapunji if the government really intervened uh, to promote tourism in southwest Kaza Hills uh, in both the uh, constituency of Mokarwat and Ranikor constituency. Sir, I want to come to sports and I'm very, very happy to hear the announcement that sport department has try to reach to every place, to every nook and corner of the state of Mekhalaya to build world-class playground. And we have seen also inauguration has taken place uh, one place after another. I'm very happy to see the focus of the government to promote our young people in sports. Yes, sir. Uh, there's no doubt that it's very, very important and we know also that our young people, it's there in all parts of the state of Mekalea, and they need same privilege, same opportunity. Sir, I want to request uh, to the Honorable Chief Minister and Sports Minister, through you, sir, in this Akos House, that Southwest Kaza Hill is one of the district that had produced sports persons from time to time. Southwest Kaza Hill had produced sport person that represented India as well and the state of Mekhalaya in many, in many items of sports. Sir, I want to request you that we still need more focus and we still need the concentration from the government to give more playground in Southwest Kaza Hill and especially at Maukarwat, which is the district headquarter. I just want to tell you, sir, that it has been identified by the government way back in 2017 to build a district sport complex at Sakwang. But some reason which is not known, there is no problem locally. The land is available to accommodate all the activities as a sport complex. But somehow it didn't happen that time and I have tried my best to pursue, but unfortunately, it has not happened till today to have a district sports complex in Southwest Kassel, which we have the land readily at Sakwang and the estimate, the DPR also, it has been made long time back. Sir, I want to request uh, in this Akos House that we need Southwest Kassel, as it has been produced so many sport person, I hope it will continue to do that, to represent the state, to represent the country by our young boys and girls from there if we have a sports complex in Southwest Kaza Hill. Sir, I want to come to a very important department which is always burning my heart and I do appreciate under the leadership of our Deputy Chief Minister in charge Pirinudi, we have seen the road is increasing in all parts of the state of Mekalea as well as in our district. I want to recall a sweet memory which I get the opportunity to travel with our Honorable Chief Minister in the year 2021 to go to Mokarwat. He had kind enough to lift me and to travel in his car and I had requested him and convinced him that time to understand, to make him understand how important is this road from Mauklang to Weiloi to Maukarwat being the district headquarter. And sir, I want to thank him that he has agreed that yes, this road is very, very important because it is uh, connecting four or five constituency. And I'm very happy to inform the House I that remember ultimately... You have only one minute to uh, Why Sir, not? only seven minutes I have completed, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you... Ten eight minutes, minutes, sir? Uh, eight minutes, not ten minutes. Eight sir, minutes. <laughs> very, very sorry, sir. Uh, sir, I... Then, ultimately, the government has sanctioned this road and now the work is in progress, in full speed in progress, sir. And I hope it will finish. Uh, in another few months, we will finish and we'll see the change to have this good road from Lat Maureng up to Weiloi. But, sir, yesterday, along with MLA Renikor, we went to Chief Minister because we expect that this road from Weiloi to Maukarwat will reflect in this budget estimate. <laughs> But unfortunately, it has not been reflected in the mention in this budget estimate, sir. This is so important from Weiloi. We are happy to see that Weiloi to uh, 
uh, through Mao Plang Balad Road, from Wei Loi to Mao Sun Ram, it has been reflected. It's very, very good. But we expect that Wei Loi to Mao Karwat to reach to the district headquarters, it is very, very important, sir. And I hope that this government will take serious uh, step to ensure that people of Southwest Brazil get a better road to see that we get that same quality of road like we have been doing now from Lat Maureng up to Wailoi. Sir, I want to come to the conclusion, but sir, since I'm speaking here on the budget estimate which is related with finance, lastly, sir, I want to talk about the finance. It is very, very important, and I want to thank Honorable Chief Minister that from the same available resources, from the same available infrastructures, he has made the state the status that we are today, sir. And we are better. We are better than before. Sir, I want just to give the, the direct to the suggestion that I have, sir. We have same infrastructure, and the commercial hub is mainly this police bazaar and Yodo. And from this, yes, sir, I'll be, just give me two minutes, sir, two minutes, just to conclude my, my speech on this budget, sir. Sir, we, as I have stated, that we have same infrastructure. Can we build now more commercial hub in the state of Mekalea? Why not, sir? It's very much possible. As Basutun has rightly said, because he was uh, represented the border constituency. It is very much, we are very fortunate that we have very close with Kuwaiti, with Assam. And CT Kuwaiti has no more place to extend, sir. It will have to see to come to extend towards Mekhalaya. So we have to take this uh, privilege, sir to have our infrastructure in our state. Previously, we may have the fear because the, the, the settlement of border is not there. But now, since the border line has been settled, we have no fear that uh, state uh, Assam will encroach to our state. So therefore, we need to build an infrastructure. We need to have uh, a commercial hub in the, in the border with Assam so that we can extract the revenue where the Assam is getting, sir. As of now, our state has been estimated at 4,000. But I can tell you that Assam government, they are, they are having their own revenue up to 30,000 plus. So it, we have this opportunity if we can have a commercial hub in the border. And by Sustainable Satun, he'll be the happiest person if that happens, sir. If we can build a commercial hub in the border close to Kwati. That is my suggestion, sir. And I know the government of Mekhalia will earn from there will have a revenue and we can have one day a self-supported state in terms of revenue that we need not to bore and we need not to go and to request to depend on the central government for everything sir as is happening as of now we can do that sir if we can uh, have a commercial hub in the border thank you sir because thank of you. the time i still have so many but i have to obey your command sir thank you so much thank sir. you